welcome back into another video. <laughs> okay, so this is part two of the estate sale haul. And I've got about roughly 20 sets of salt and pepper shakers to show you guys. We ended up, I counted all of them, and we ended up with 71 salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. But for 20 bucks, uh, yeah, that's a no-brainer. So um, some of the ones that I got, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to show you all of them because it, it would just be so monotonous sitting here looking at salt and pepper shakers. Unless you all want me to. If you want me to, leave me a comment down below and let me know and I'll do a part three. Uh, depending on how many comments I get will determine on whether I do a part three or not. But anyway, some of the other ones are just not, I mean, they're kind of unique, but not really. The ones that I picked out are really unique. And there is, I've already sold... Uh, let's see, I've already sold three pair. Uh, one of the pair that I sold uh, will be coming up at the end of this video, and I'll show you. Um, I had to, because when I sold them, I had to ship them out, so I did a little quick video I'm going to attach to the end of this so you can see what they are and what they sell for. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you everything. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, first of all, this little flopped donkey. <laughs> and I'm not exactly sure if this is, I don't think that these are usable. I think it's more of just like decoration, uh, but he's just a little donkey. He's in pretty good condition. Um, the flocking of the red is kind of faded a little bit, but you know, I think I thought he looked pretty good. And then let's see, these right here, I have not been, I've done some research and I haven't been able to find anything out about these. Um, or any, any like them, but they're both marked on the bottom in the Pottery USA. I don't know if you can see that or not, uh, but anyway, there is those, and I'm wondering if they're the California Pottery, so there is those. Then I got this little set here with the Asian people in a little, I don't, I guess that's a basket, a little bird on top. And this is, um, it says something on the box, something Japan, like a brand and then Japan. So I'm not, I'm not really sure about that, but there are those. And then <laughs> my daughter-in-law, she loved this. Um, it's a camel <laughs> and the salt and pepper shakers come out. It's just that hard plastic. Um, not marked on the bottom, so, but anyway, I thought he was kind of unique. A lot of the, I've never seen any like some of these. Um, and then this one was interesting. It is an ink well, and with the ink spilled is the salt and pepper shaker. Now, these don't have um, stoppers in them. So, and the, the hole for the stopper is kind of not exactly perfectly round. So I don't know if this is supposed to be just a, you know, just display and not really be used. But anyway, I thought that was different. I'd never seen anything like that. And then this one here, the same with this one. It has this little stand here and these little musical notes. Show you once, get a better look at it little musical notes that I guess said in front of it. But again, with these musical notes, look at the holes. See, they're not, like how would you even put a stopper in there? Um, but they are salt and pepper shakers. So anyway, I thought those were, that was very different. And actually this right here has something on the bottom. It's got Francie and then a copyright. So I don't know. And then these right here, these are called, um, Van Tellinger or something like that. And it's got patent pending, but it's this little, um, African American boy and dog and they fit together hugging. <laughs> Aren't those just precious? I mean, I've never seen anything like that. Here's the Van Tellingen, Van Tellingen. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's that's what it is. So anyway, I thought those were really cute. And then I got this little 
kind of conjoined coffee cups and these come out and this is actually um, occupied Japan I thought those were just really cute and then I got some mailboxes <laughs> yep mailboxes and these are marked almost every single one of these are marked Japan on the bottom but yeah, little mailboxes. So maybe someone that's a postal worker would like these. <laughs> and then these are really cool. These are Humpty Dumpty. And um, I already have these listed. And there's not, there's, there's some on there, but none are this exact color with the white and the yellow. And I've, <laughs> my research has been a little bit conflicting because I'm not exactly sure if these are from the 30s or if they're later. Some of the listings say that these are from the 30s, but I don't know. It's got a patent number on the bottom, but it doesn't have like a maker or anything, just a patent number is all. So there's those. And then I've got these little uh, goldfish here. <laughs> I've already got, already got those listed. So I thought those were kind of different. And then these horse heads, I went ahead and listed these because Derby's coming up. And I thought somebody might like those for a Derby party or a Derby dinner. So anyway, those are marked Japan also. And then this right here was so cool. It's these pixie elves. And they both come off. And they're marked Japan on the bottom. And then it's got this little, let me take these off so I can show you. This little thing here that I think, I mean, this spoon is so little. And the only thing about it, this spoon does have a little chip on the side. But I don't, I guess this is used for mustard, but I, I don't know. Sugar, uh, jam, I can't imagine dipping out. <laughs> that little bitty tiny amount <laughs> so anyway I just thought that that was that was very unique I'd never seen anything like that very cool this is regular Japan it's not occupied Japan these are from my own personal collection um, they are when I bought them it said on there that they are teak wood they may be I'm not 100% sure, but that's what they said. Very kind of mid-century modern with the uh, wood grain and the little copper colored tops. And then this right here I thought was really cool. This is two like mid-century modern lamps and they're on this little tray. And um, this one here is, let's see, where does it say? Yeah, this is Occupied Japan also. And I, I try to test these to see. I don't think that this is Bakelite. Um, but anyway, there is those. Then this is probably one of the most unique ones that I had seen. It's, I already have this listed. And it has patent pending on the bottom. But anyway, just very, very different. There are a few of these online, but just very, very unique. And then these right here are little kitschy cats, <laughs> just the hard plastic. I thought those were cute uh, with the little carrying tray. And then these right here are interesting. They're like, they look like bullets. <laughs> and this, uh, it twists and comes out like that to fill it up. So anyway, I thought those were kind of cool. And then this is a pair of eggplants <laughs> in a basket. So they just come off. Those are Japan also. I'm, I'm All these, almost all these are Japan. And then uh, this piano here and the come out like that. Thought that was different. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is the thing that sold. So here we go. These are the salt and pepper shakers that I just sold. 
and they're little pagodas. And they came in that collection that I'm actually showing you now. <laughs> um, but what's interesting about them is that, and I don't know if this is going to show up. I'm filming this on my phone. On the bottom there, it has Sterling 950. And when Scott did some research on this, apparently the 950 is... Uh, has more silver content than the 925 so that made these uh much better than just 925 silver um so yeah i just sold these for 65 dollars <laughs> i could not believe that i just like anyway couldn't believe it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give me a thumbs up um i have a video coming up if y'all noticed my Squirrel Whisperer shirt here. I've got a video coming up here pretty soon, maybe the next day or two. I can't remember when it's supposed to, to upload. Um, showing you guys how I trained my backyard squirrels step by step. So if y'all are interested in that, um, you know, be on the lookout for that and tune in. And with that, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.